Okay, Steve. Hello, my name is Stephen Samarco, and I'm running for Redondo Beach City Council District 4. I want to first thank the Chamber for having this event. Uh, also, my uh, esteemed uh, colleagues, Ms. Jeffries and um, Mr. Stern, for being here as well. I'm proud to have the endorsement of the Redondo Beach Police and Fire, Al Mursachi, Betsy Butler, and Rabbi Yossi Mintz. Artesia business owners Wally Marks, Nico of Raj Charborough, Jeff Salee of Catalina Coffee, Odell, Odetta Leonelli of Kovacs 5 Pharmacy, and Paul of Paul's Liquors, just to name a few. Before I start, I want to say if elected, I will not accept the city's health care package and will donate 50% of the money I raise to the Redondo Beach Unified School District. I believe in public school system. It needs our help. Volunteer, contribute, do something. My mother raised my sister and I. I learned my work ethic from working on the family blueberry farm. It was back-breaking work from sunup to sundown. It was my mother who taught me there's no such thing as a free lunch. And those words stick with me today. I moved to the South Bay 22 years ago after obtaining my bachelor's degree from Seton Hall University. I came to California to obtain a master's degree in public administration with a focus on public finance, which I did complete. I met my wife in 2004. We bought a home in Redondo Beach and married on the Redondo Beach Pier. We love Redondo Beach. We now have two children who both attend public school systems in Redondo Beach. During the day, I run a small public affairs firm in the 4th District on Artesia Boulevard. We deal with policy issues involving public safety, development, and the environment, just to name a few. In our spare time, we enjoy volunteering at our kids' schools as PTA members, coaching AYSO soccer and Redondo Beach Little League. In 1997, I received the Rotary District 5280 Community Program of the Year Award for the Yellow Bikes of Hermosa Beach. Thank you. Thank you. Jan? <clears throat> uh, thank you, Ruth, and thank you, Chamber, for... Uh, this um, uh, forum today and a special thanks to all of the folks that are watching on uh, in their home on TV. I'm Jan Jeffries. I'm a uh, property taxpayer in the South Bay for the past 28 years. My current Redondo home, 14 years now. My qualifications uh, uh, include, first, um, 2010 I was appointed by the mayor to the Library Commission. I know firsthand current council members, commissioners, policies, procedures. I took the ethics training course, know the Brown Act, and who's who in the city. As library commissioner, I attend regular meetings, vote on agenda items, and isn't that great? We now have a library on Artesia Boulevard. Um, I do have a solid education background, Bachelor of Arts, double major, business and advertising art. I was senior class president, graduated in seven semesters with a G, uh, 3.5 GPA. Master of Science degree, major, business management, minor, marketing. Um, next, in 1985, I was recruited, hired, relocated by, uh, relocated by a major L.A. Uh, South Bay Company, and one day a large moving van came to my house, moved me, and uh, here I am. Uh, I've been a consistent volunteer, making a real contribution to my city, living across the street from Perry Park, a senior center. A neighbor asked me one day to help out with the project. The next thing you knew, seven or eight years, I ran a spe the special events, potlucks, Thanksgiving, luau's, fundraisers, Christmas parties, and all of that for the seniors. Um, my people skills allow me to work efficiently and easily. I've been a, a YMCA tour guide, Torrance Memorial Holiday Festival, Heart of the City program, on and on. At my <coughs> townhouse, I've been HOA president for the past 14 years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Julian. My name is Julian Stern, and I'm running for council because I love Redondo Beach. It's a great place, but it could be better. I have a detailed plan and specific ideas to get it to that better place. My plan is to ensure government transparency, efficiency, and responsiveness, support strong economic growth within the city, and improve the quality of life of the residents. I've lived here my entire life. That's 17 years, 11 months, and 360 days. <laughs> I've been involved with local politics for some time, and I've been eyeing this seat for eight years. <laughs> One thing I can assure you 
of is my dedication and desire to serve the community. I would not be sitting here without it. For a while I was told I would have to be a right-in candidate. I respectfully insisted that my name be on the ballot, and I am ex excited to have the opportunity, opportunity to represent you. That same dedication will be ever-present when I'm your councilman, a dedication to the city, to the residents. Let me represent you. What's important to you is important to me. As I meet with residents, I tell them how critical their input is, and I would depend on it if elected. I represent a new dynamic, a new voice, the voice of the future of Redondo Beach. Decisions are being made today that will have an impact far into tomorrow. Our city runs as a well-oiled machine. Allow me to be the new generation to make sure it continues to be maintained. Let me come to council and approach each item before it in an, with an open mind. If your vision for Redondo aligns with mine, if you feel the need to have a councilman working for you, I would be honored to have your vote. Thank you. Uh, let's begin with our questions. And if at any time you want me to repeat the question, please let me know. And we'll start with Steve. The citizens and business owners in Redondo Beach appreciate the commitment you are making by running for public office. Please tell us why you are running and making this enormous decision. Well, I'm running for Redondo Beach City Council because I want to make a difference. Um, we bought a home here in 2005. We have two children in the public school systems. We're vested to the community. I want to first prioritize protecting the families of Redondo Beach. I believe this is what government was created to do. As your council representative, I will partner with other public safety officials, local businesses, schools, and residents to prioritize public safety every day, not just on election day. Okay. Jan. I am running for city council because I have an extensive amount of community service and my, my community is important to me. I'm very concerned about safety. Uh, therefore, I think we need to get involved with our, the CERT program, which is community uh, emergency training. Um, I've worked for both large and small companies. I know what it takes to make a profit. We need to concentrate that on that. I am running for city council because I have the education, the experience. I sit here as a commissioner um, in these comfortable seats, and I really feel that um, I can contribute and maintain what our city has done. It's a fabulous city, and um, we just need to keep nurturing it along. Thank you. Julian. My answer is simple. I have a strong desire to bring the needs of my neighbors before the council, and I have a strong desire to serve my neighbors, and that's why I want to run for city council, and I think city council would be the best way to serve my neighbors. Okay, thank you. Next question, and we'll start with Jan. Historically, the South Bay Galleria has contributed approximately 40% of the city's sale tax revenue. Yes. One of the major anchors, Nordstrom, has announced a plan to move to Del Amo in two years. What do you propose to maintain the significant business role that the Galleria has played over all these years? Well, yes, we, we all love the Galleria. It's a fabulous shopping area. Um, it's, it was, uh, was a surprise to all of us. It was a shock when, Nor when we first heard about Nordstrom. But when you stand back and look at the big picture, and you know that, what, less than a block away, they put Nordstrom's rack, you have to stop and think, wasn't that a master plan? Wasn't that a strategy that they planned before they ever made the public announcement? They knew what was going on. Um, I plan to work very closely with the people of management at the Galleria. I don't know if that's been done before, but there are major revenue, and we need to protect that as best we can. I'm confident we will get something as good as Nordstrom's, perhaps better. Thank you. Okay. Julia. We must all remember that uh, the gallery is a private enterprise, and, and they want someone there just as much as we do, and I'm, I'm confident 100% that they will find a replacement for the Nordstrom store. Of course, uh, as councilman, I would work closely with Four City to make sure that uh, a good tenant does move in and that uh, they're contributing to our tax revenue. But at the end of the day, they'll take care of it, and I'll just be there to help them out. 
Thank you. Steve. I, I think Nordstrom is just one issue at that, at that mall. Um, recently, in the last few years, we've lost 18 police officers due to cuts. As many of you may not know, uh, the city has decided not to pay its cost share for many, many months, um, which basically left the mall uh, without any police. So my first uh, order of business would to be to take care of the security of the mall first, look for a tenant to replace Nordstrom second. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question, and uh, we'll start with Julian. 1992 was the last time that a holistic zoning review on Artesia Boulevard was completed. What would you like to see on Artesia Boulevard, and how and when would you go about doing it? I like what I'm seeing right now. I like the, all the mom and pop stores on Artesia. My family owns two businesses in the 4th District. That's what I want to see, more family-run businesses, and I want to see that opportunity grow. Right now, as I've been speaking with many of the businesses on Artesia, and I ask how business is, I get a myriad of answers. But when I ask, is the city helping you? Do they help you out? I get two answers, yes or no. If elected, I'd like to hear one answer, and that is the city is on our side. I'd like to make zoning and uh, gaining permits easier for those small businesses on Artesia. So I'd like to just see the permit process sped up and more small businesses and more vitality brought to Artesia Boulevard. Steve. Can you repeat the question, sure. please? 1992 was the last time that a holistic zoning review on Artesia Boulevard was completed. What would you like to see on Artesia Boulevard, and how and when would you go about doing it? I disagree with Mr. Stern. Um, I think there's a lot we can do on Artesia Boulevard, first starting with the Business Improvement District. I think that would give greater autonomy to the business owners to govern themselves. Uh, second, again, in the way of safety, we've had uh, our children murdered. There was an armed robbery on Artesia and Vail, uh, and nothing has been done. I don't see security cameras. I don't see emergency phone call boxes. Uh, what I'd like is some input from these businesses before decisions are made that may affect them. Thank you. Jan. I believe that Artesia Boulevard is a gold mine, only we haven't really dug for it. It's not deep enough yet. I agree with you, um, Steve. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever gone to the website that the North Redondo Business Association has. It is great. Those people are doing great things. The sm small mom and pops, the major chains. Uh, we go all the way from Nordstrom's, or the Galleria, excuse me, Walgreens, all the way down to Rite Aid. And, and, and we forget that little section on Artesia Boulevard. That belongs to us also. Um, there's so much to be done, and I'd like to make the process for businesses a lot more streamlined, a lot easier for them to start up their business, especially mom and pop companies. Uh, they're mom and pops. They need help. Let's make it easy for them. Thank you. Okay, next question, and we'll start with Steve. AES has submitted plans to repower into a much smaller footprint and has offered to have up to 38 acres for other uses. Is Measure A the right solution for the AES site, or do you prefer another solution? Um, I think the day of power plants in bedroom communities are long gone. As far as the initiative is concerned, I'm concerned. Um, the way I read the initiative, and let me start by saying, I was around back in, I think it was 1998, when Rosamond Fogg started the initiative in Hermosa Beach against the oil well, which still, I believe, looms today. I'm concerned with the legal ramifications of this initiative, should it pass. We are, in essence, rezoning this land in order to take it away from AES. And I think the lawsuit and the room of lawyers that will come with it will last a very long time. So I am against the initiative. Thank you. Okay. Jan. 